Hello everyone and welcome. I am a soap maker. I am a new soap maker thanks to the quarantine of 2020 and I decided to give soap making a whirl and you can come along for the ride. So today I am going to be making a soap. So I have an idea of making a certain movie franchise themed soap month. So I am going to be using a combination of these colors here from Mad Micah's and some black oxide. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. I was going to do a different house, but it's not supposed to be Ronald McDonald house themed. It's a different house, so we're just going to have to come back to that one later. The scent I'm going to be using today is Indian Sandalwood from Nature's Garden. Beautiful scent. So I have already mixed my lye water in my oils. I have already got it to a, a thin trace. So I am going to be pouring off one batch worth into here and then I'll divvy it up amongst my uh, stuff, pour it into the molds. It'll be, a, it'll be a great time. It'll be great. So according to my soap calc recipe, I'm gonna be pouring off 53.4 ounces into here, which I know it holds it and it goes to the top. So let's do that right quick. Just gonna go with it. It's fine. The rest will be used in a little bit. Okay. So while we're here, I'm going to measure out my fragrance oil, and I use one ounce for one of these molds here because that's just what works and then I have an even amount to use of this and I'll end up with like 0.2 left over. All right. Ah, oh, look at that. One ounce exactly. I am a wizard. I'm a wizard. Okay, so get this out of the way. And I'm going to mix this in now. I know how it behaves, and I know that it's not going to accelerate. So it won't be a problem. So I'm going to get the bubbles out. And I shall do a quick mix with my stick blender. and thin. Excellent. Okay. Okay, I have my containers here ready to go. One is going to be with charcoal from Nature's Garden and the other two will be mint julep and enchanted forest from Mad Micah's. So I'm going to do my best to divvy these up evenly. Obviously this whatever this color is, is going to be more so probably the dark. So let me get to to scoop in these here. Yeah, about a teaspoon I'll use of that one. Pour into that. Yeah, about as much as I can. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Oh God, it dripped. All right. Not as much of black. Put a teaspoon of green in there. And I'm going to 
start with a teaspoon of black and see where that gets us. Because I know it's going to be a mess. Okay. Now, it's all going to be poured together. So I am going to mix up here. From the lightest to... Oh, Lord. Let us not do that. My poor countertop has just been destroyed by, by soap making already. Okay, let us mix these and see where we're at. on the left and the right. We'll see what I do with that. And this I'm going to put in the front. not going to save any for the top because it looks like it's just going to be what it is. So we'll put that in the top. Now, I know that I'm telling y'all to guess, but it's not going to be very hard if you've seen the movie. So please put in your guesses down below. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour evenly all into this mold. This all will fit in here, I swear. And we will see what the outcome looks like. set a bit and then I shall texture the top. I've never scraped anything more than I have scraped a soap container as a soap maker. Like brownie mix, I don't scrape it that hard. I just like, you know, lick it. Obviously I'm not going to lick soap, 
So I scrape this sucker like no one's business and it takes forever. And does it get me anything? Maybe. Is it worth it? Probably not. But it, oh God. It does make it easier to clean. So there's that. Alrighty. Let us let this sit. I can't just, I just can't let it go. Alright, I'm going to let this sit here for a bit. And then I shall come back and texture. Okay, I'm done. I swear. Oh, okay, I'm going to pour this on top and I'm done. There's so much left in here. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I shall see you in a minute. Alrighty, so I'm going to finish up with this one here with a good old texture, and then we shall return in 24 hours to cut the soap and see how it came out. Alright, texture is complete and I shall see you in 24 hours. Alright, so we are back the next day to give this bad boy a cut. Feels pretty firm, so we will do a quick unmolding here. 